protein, which is the burette test. So, what is a burette test? So, the test will give a positive result for compounds that contain two or more pe peptide linkages. It will give a distinctive purple color, which is probably due to the formation of a complex by cubic ions with the amino groups called burette. Hence, the peptides in amino acids like serine and threonine do not give positive results with this test. And for the second experiment would be the protein denaturation, which is coagulation. So what is coagulation? The nature is the unfolding of the complex secondary, tertiary, and quaternary structures of proteins. Heat, strong acids, and organic solvents such as alcohol can rapidly cause hydrogen bonds and hydrophobic interactions to break. Strong acids solve linkage by ionizing the carboxylic group and alcohol denatures the protein by disrupting the hydrogen bonds. So, that's it! So for the materials that we need for the burette test are test tubes and test tube rack, droppers, test tube holder, test tube brush for cleaning the test tube, 10% of sodium hydroxide, 1% of copper sulfate, 2% of urea, and 5% of albumin. Each of the solution measures 100 ml. So remember guys that we need separate droppers for each of the solution first to avoid contamination. So there we have it. We have everything we need for the first experiment. So for the first procedure, we need the 5% albumin and the 2% urea. So first we need to place 2 ml each of 5% albumin and 0.2% urea in two separate test tubes. So next is to add 1 ml of 10% sodium hydroxide and about 5 drops of 1% copper sulfate. So this test tube contains the 5% albumin, while this test tube contains the urea. So as we can see, um, the test tube that contains albumin suddenly turns to violet color on the top layer of the solution, while the test tube that contains urea um, suddenly turns to light blue color both on the top layer of the solution. The second experiment is entitled coagulation. So the materials that we need are test tubes, test tube holder, 5% albumin, 1% copper sulfate, 10% sodium hydroxide, beaker for the water bath, distilled water, filter papers, steering rod, and lastly is the hot plate. on both test tubes. So for the next step, we need to add 3 ml of distilled water on the test tube 1.
So before we move on to the next step, which is heating the test tube one in a water bath for 10 minutes, we need to boil the water bath first. So by using the hot plate, place it in a medium-high temperature so that it will boil quickly. one in a boiling water bath for 10 minutes. to filter both tubes separately by using the filter paper. After filtering both tubes with filter paper, we need to test both filtrates by using the burette reagent. By adding 1 ml of 10% sodium hydroxide and about 5 drops of 1% copper sulfate. Was the one heated in a boiling water bath. So this is how it looks. On its top layer, you can see that it is a mixture of violet and blue color. This test showed uh, was the one that was not heated but as we can see on its top per on its top layer it is purely consists of blue color so, 